There are more military vehicles than real traffic on the street here. The U.S. Embassy in Sana'a has always been fortified, but now, for hundreds of meters, machine guns and Yemeni soldiers stand guard. Less obvious are the U.S. Marines who arrived last week to protect the compound. Their presence has alarmed many people here. Sheikh Zindani is the most influential religious leader in Yemen. He is also wanted by the U.S. as a specially designated terrorist. On Wednesday, Zindani called a meeting with some of the country's top clerics to condemn the U.S.-made anti-Islam film. In an exclusive interview, he condemned attacks on the embassy, but said he views the Marines as an invading force. Our religion bans attacks against anyone who enters our country with legal visas, and the visas should be a protection. But there is a difference between that and foreign forces coming in and killing people with drones. There are civilians and maybe military trainers who the Yemeni government use, and then they have protection guarantees. But to bring forces for occupation which could expand, this is what we reject. A few dozen soldiers sent to protect an embassy abroad may not seem like much of an event to many, but Yemenis are deeply sensitive about any U.S. military presence here. A covert war has been going on between the U.S. and Yemen's al-Qaeda for years, and civilians are often killed in those drone attacks. For that reason, Yemen's parliament has voiced opposition to the arrival of the Marines. Shauki al-Qadi is one of the MPs leading the call. Firstly, we reject it because there is no justification for it. Secondly, it will support the cause of the armed groups. And thirdly, it will affect the image of the new government in Yemen, that it has opened the country for Marines, especially while we are suffering from drone attacks. Although the Marines are here to protect diplomatic staff and not to battle al-Qaeda, many Yemenis make little distinction. Their presence just adds to the already noisy debate on the extent of U.S. involvement in this country. Jane Ferguson, Al Jazeera, Sana'a, Yemen.